Katie, how are you? Good, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming to see me today. Please come on through and we can have a little chat about your gums and your oral health. Would you like to take a seat? Thank you. Hi, my name is Imogen. I'm a general dentist. I work in three clinics in London, Reading and North Devon. I'm really interested in treating patients with gum disease and recently many studies have been carried out showing a link between patients with diabetes and patients with gum disease. So Imogen, can you tell me what is gum disease? Okay, so throughout the day, something called plaque builds up on your teeth. This is a sticky white film which is made up of food, saliva and bacteria. The role of toothbrushing is to remove the plaque from your teeth. If plaque is not removed, then what can happen is the bacteria in the plaque releases toxins which irritates the gums, leading to something called gingivitis, which is inflammation of the gums. The gum around this tooth is red and swollen, showing inflammation of the gums. Luckily, this is a reversible process. So if you are able to remove the plaque from your teeth, you are able to go back to having healthy gums after this stage. Sometimes, if a patient is susceptible to gum disease or if they continue not to remove the plaque from their teeth, what can happen is you can start getting irreversible damage of the teeth, the gums and also the bone holding the teeth in. What happens is the bacteria from the plaque continue releasing toxins and your body responds by the bone being destroyed. Over time, this ultimately leads to bone loss around the teeth you can see here the bone being destroyed and what this will lead to is teeth becoming loose, a patient will have difficulty eating and ultimately it will lead to tooth loss. It's very important for patients with diabetes to regularly attend their dentist and to really look after their oral health and their gums. If you notice bleeding when you're brushing or painful red or swollen gums or receding gums with wobbly teeth you may be a patient who has got gum disease. Gum disease is also known as periodontal disease and it's the sixth most common worldwide disease. There are multiple factors which make patients at an increased risk of having gum disease. For example, patients who smoke or patients who have a family history of gum disease or finally, patients living with diabetes. <laughs>